Technology, including AI, has become such an essential part of our everyday lives, right? And it seems it's only going to grow from here. Government leaders agree, but say there needs to be some safeguards. This is on one of the most important issues we face, transparency, explainability, copyright, uh, intellectual property. This is one of the keys we have to unlock to let AI move forward. We have to understand why AI systems produce the answers they do. We need the companies to lead the way to help us. This is beyond uh, the ability of us to do. We can set rules and guardrails, but they got to figure out how to do it. Now, recent shakeups in tech leadership are raising questions about the huge impact that those individuals who hold so much power and a new study is shedding light on how founding CEOs can impact a company's outcomes. Joining me live now is one of the people behind that study, Priya Kanan, the dean of Lucas College and Graduate School of Business at San Jose State University. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you so much for having me, Liz. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to see you. So how much of a difference does it make to an organization to have the founder of and the developer of the technology stay on as leader of that company? Is it always a good thing? Uh, I wouldn't say it's always a good thing, but it is a good thing in many ways. Uh, founder CEOs enhance an organization's innovation performance. And this is really important for companies. If you look around, companies like Netflix, Meta, Alphabet, um, you know, think about uh, NVIDIA. All these companies either have founder CEOs at the helm or have founder CEOs closely engaged with working with them. And this is why these companies are so successful. Now, what if a founder isn't the best leader of the company? Then what? How does that impact the company? It can't be good, right? It cannot be good. Founder CEOs, especially those with a lot of power, are extremely hard to displace. And previous research also says that people, CEOs that found the companies are sometimes not the best scale-up leaders for the organization. However, when they hold a lot of power, it's very difficult to displace them from their jobs. Now, we're talking about a less than 1% amount of the population when it comes to leading these companies, developing these groundbreaking technology. So how do the headlines of these different changes at the head of these companies impact everyone else, people who rely on companies like OpenAI, ChatGPT, or even social media companies like Twitter? How does that impact folks who rely on these companies in their everyday lives? It is, it is very important for a founder CEO to set a vision because several stakeholders, as you mentioned, Liz, are really engaged with the company. They are either employees or customers. So having a founder CEO who is stable, who can set the vision, and who can also show the employees and other stakeholders that the company is beyond them. It is not about their ambitions and their uh, fulfilling their own personal desires. It's not what the company is about. It is very important for founder CEOs to show that. So what role should government really play in all of this? Clearly, there should be regulations going to be put in place. But given the potential global impact of these companies, should government play a bigger role? Or does that cross this very fine line? I'm not sure that, you know, again, I'm not the expert on the role of government in businesses, but I think governments do have a responsibility. But I also think the responsibility is for the immediate stakeholders, the board of directors, the employees, the uh, people, the, the other businesses and investors that support the company, they have a huge role to play, especially in an emerging technology like AI, which is still uh, perceived as very volatile and the ethical implications. I think we all have a role to play, including the government in that technology, and to help the founder define the vision of the company and lead the company forward so that it benefits us all. All right, Priya Kanan with San Jose State. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here.